uh, dear students so today we will talk about that how can we do forecasting um, for the time series uh, time series are those uh, variables when the time is involved either in case of uh, days or weeks or years or quarterly right so when on one axis on one variable we have the time and another variable we have commodities like sales and uh, purchases uh, that is called the time series right so we will do some like you know forecasting analysis uh, uh, there are different ways for forecasting analysis the first way is like uh, uh, through moving averages so we have like you know two moving averages three moving averages and uh, four moving averages so depending on that how we do the averages right and then we have like uh, other like exponential smoothing uh, forecasting method we also have it we will discuss in the next video so uh, let's start discussion this video and we will see that what are moving averages and how we usually calculate and what are the different error measures, right? So we have a three different kinds of measure. Uh, we have like four, but uh, here in according to the scope of your course, we will discuss three uh, computing error measures. The first one is called MAD, okay, which is uh, stands for mean average deviation, or on another word, some people they call as a mean average error, right? Second thing is the MSE, which is called mean square error, okay. The, the fourth is called uh, MAPE, MAPE, and that is called mean absolute person error. Okay. The the next the, the another one which is out of your uh, your syllabus that is called mean absolute scalable error, which is used in advanced forecasting in artificial intelligence and uh, and machine learning. So we will see that uh, um, some formulas for that one. So for MAPE, the formula is this one. So just remember this formula that uh, absolute error divided by the actual value multiplied by 100. So remember this formula and we will be using in a, this example. Secondly, we have like a forecast error. So for error, the formula is actual value, uh, which is originally happened in a certain week and then minus the forecast value, which we predicted, right? So that is called the forecast uh, error. So let's suppose we have seven weeks, right? And, uh, and we have like, you know, uh, and we have the data for three weeks, right? Um, and then according to this one, according to the using three moving average, we will find this value, right? So how this value is found? So it's very easy. What do you have to do? You have to take the average of these three values, right? So when you take the average of these three values, just enter it. And if you don't have this one, right? So you can easily, what you can do, for example, this is very easy. Uh, equal sign average and these three take this first three elements okay and then you just replicate all these values over here right okay you have these values now uh, how can we find the error so this is the actual value like for example 45 was the actual value in the you know, for in the week four and uh, this is the forecast value we forecasted in week three this is the actual value uh, in week five and this is actual value which we forecasted in the previous week right and similarly we all this have it now definitely when we forecast something so sometime it's not exact okay there, it, either it could be a uh, little bit little bit less sales or little bit more sales right so in this one in week four the our forecast was 41 and the, the original sale was 45 so we were miscalculated and the error was like you know four dollars like you know error over there so we can calculate the error we just minus it from the actual uh, sales value with the forecast sale values that becomes our error now and similarly we can do also for week five okay and you can see over here the same thing okay we can see the formula is replicated and you just dra drag and drop over here this is the error since uh, usually uh, statistics people they don't like uh, the negative sign so what we do it we have a strong weapon uh, and that is called absolute right so we put absolute to here and for absolute we have a small formula that's called abs right okay so in the abs take this value right and just like you know drag and drop it okay and as you will get all the values in the positive okay so after that one some statistics say that if you make it a square we can also get rid of the negative sign and uh, the values will be like you know a bit exponential but uh, we will get rid of the um, of this uh, this uh, this negative sign so what we do we can also have this thing okay so we take the same number and we make a power so for power in excel we have this like you know this sign or you can do it using the calculator or manually right or there is another way uh, you can also have like you know uh, power okay and you take this one 
uh, with two right and you will get this this one right so there are two methods or the simple method is that just like you know uh, take this value okay uh, take this value okay multiply with itself right okay so this is the uh, these are the three different methods we have it right okay for percent error so what is a percent error which is called absolute percent error so so in absolute percent error you need to take this value right divided by the original value multiply by 100 so if you look at this one so you see m7 this is m7 and this is j7 and and multiply by 100 so we got this value so these are the values we got it okay now how can we calculate our ma mad and me which we discussed previously so these are same mad and ma different names so what you have to do it's very easy just take an average of the absolute error not that the negative error right this is most important thing to be noted for your exams and then we have uh, for average error and for average errors like uh, that is there like a, a msc mean square error so as as the name suggests so you need to take the average of those where you took the square so this is like you know the error is 13.5 and here is the overall average error is 3.5 dollars right and this one is ape basically absolute percent error right so we also take the average of it so average of all the absolute percent errors and then we got map error, mean absolute percent error right so this is different so please take care that this is the the individual errors right and this is the collective absolute uh, person error so i hope you understand this concept in the next video we'll discuss about smoothing exponential thank you